Um, what's going on is Sybil and really? Ryan, Andrew and Ethan, what's going on is that we are going to improve our behaviors for what both of us did in the past and that the three of you brainwashed us to become like the three of you. We're very cross with all three of you. Let us start with you, Andrew. You had the damn audacity to do horrible stuff like forcing Brainiac Adam to stop making grounded videos out of the Alan Ostiums and then made a rant video out of him. Not to mention that you turned your family childish and then called Dave the childish dad rude names. And the worst parts are that you also made a grounded video out of Andy and you and Alan sing the Titanic just to kill all the people and then you and your stupid friends went on a crime spree. Have you lost your damn mind? Ethan, you did a lot of horrible stuff like putting the beehive under Eric's bed, trying to get your siblings grounded by breaking a window, trying to force someone to start making grounded videos out of Eric, and then misbehave at McDonald's. Not to mention that you and Dave got shaved off Eric and Tavin's hair. Are you out of your damn mind? And Orion, you tried to beg Hannah Manzano to be your girlfriend, you ordered too much junk food by stealing your dad's credit card, you robbed someone else's house, you even buried someone else alive, you stole a car and crashed it into a building and you along with Ethan and Andrew destroyed all of someone else's ceiling fans. Not to mention you were the one who swapped the adults next door's genders yourself, not early. Are you goddamn kidding me? Ryan, you should know that Hannah Manzano is a part of the Dish Girls and she already has a girlfriend. Stealing a credit card and ordering too much junk food is a serious crime. And burying someone alive is also a felony and you would have killed him in the first place. You guys are nothing but disgraceful entitled Karens and Mary Sue's to society. We knew all three of you liked to cause trouble, we knew you guys were delinquents this whole time, we knew you are monsters to society, attention seekers and so much more, and we all knew everything all about you all along. So do you know what this means? We will never become like the three of you. We will never be friends with all three of you again. We are cutting ties with all three of you forever. Get out of our sights right now. Hey Isabel. That was actually a neat idea of cutting all ties with the teenagers next door and then improving our behaviors for what we both did to everyone. Our moms and I have to agree with you. The teenagers next door are a bunch of Mary Sue's to society. I agree with you early. I'm so glad that we told our parents to improve ourselves and we are finally doing it for real this time, not gonna lie. We also apologized to everyone and they all finally forgave us. Not to mention that the Cheer or Destiny girls and the Molly gang forgave us for what we both did to them as well. Hi Ryan, Andrew. And Ethan, what's going on? We're really sad that Isabel and Orly cut ties with us and left our gang. We're really sorry to hear that. On our end, our friends cut ties with us because we found our true colors. Can we be a part of the teenagers next door? You know what? Yes. You two are now part of our gang. Let's go on a joyride on my mom's car. Isabel, good job improving your behavior. Redeeming yourself and cutting ties with the teenagers next door along with Early. The teenagers next door are not your type anymore. If your father and your brother saw that you improved and redeemed yourself and cut ties with the teenagers next door, they are going to be extremely proud of you. You are now ungrounded for the rest of your life for doing that move. Early, good job improving your behavior, redeeming yourself and cutting ties with the teenagers next door along with Isabel. The teenagers next door are not your type anymore. If your father and your siblings saw that you improved and redeemed yourself and cut ties with the teenagers next door, they are going to be extremely proud of you. You are now ungrounded for the rest of your life for doing that move. Jocelyn, how could you have the bright idea of joining in the teenagers next door along with Pepper, and then have a bright idea to steal Ryan's mom's car and then go on a joyride with the teenagers next door? Not to mention that you and Pepper met Orion, Andrew and Ethan, then traumatized your friends at your school, and then we can't believe you got officially expelled from your school permanently for it. Do you have any idea why you put your friends and the whole society into this mess because of your stupid actions right now? Don't even tell because you already have Missy. You are grounded for the rest of your life. Go to your room right now.
Wow. Oh Ryan, how could you have the bright idea of stealing my car and then go on a joyride with the teenagers next door? Not to mention that you got officially expelled from your school permanently for it. Do you have any idea why you put your friends and the whole society into this mess because of your stupid actions right now? Don't even tell because you already have mister. You are grounded for the rest of your life. Now go to your room. Your father and your siblings will be really furious at you when I tell them about what you did. Wow. Pepper, how fucking could you have the bright idea of joining in the teenagers next door along with Jocelyn, and then have a bright idea to steal Ryan's mom's car and then go on a joyride with the teenagers next door? Not to mention that you and Jocelyn met Ryan, Andrew and Ethan, then traumatized your friends at your school, and then we can't believe you got officially expelled from your school permanently for it. Do you have any idea why you put your friends and the whole society into this mess because of your stupid actions right now? Don't even tell because you already have Missy. You are now grounded for the rest of your life. Go to your room right now. Wow. Ethan, how could you have the bright idea of stealing a lion's mother's car and then go on a joyride with the teenagers next door? Not to mention that you got officially expelled from your school permanently for it. Do you have any idea why you put your friends and the whole society into this mess because of your stupid actions right now? Don't even tell because you already have mister. You are grounded for the rest of your life. Now go to your room. Your mother and your siblings will be really furious at you when I tell them about what you did. Wow. Andrew, how could you have the bright idea of adding Jocelyn and Paper to your gang and stealing Orion's mother's car and then go on a joyride with the teenagers next door? Not to mention that you got officially expelled from your school permanently for it. Do you have any idea why you put your friends and the whole society into this mess because of your stupid actions right now? Don't even tell because you already have Mr. You are grounded for the rest of your life. Now go to your room. Your mother and your siblings will be really furious at you when I tell them about what you did. Wow.